Right, we had that soothing Grant McCombie package. Now, wake back up, people. That is the Eskimo Brothers, the honky-tonk band based out of Nashville. But they have roots in Portland, which is pretty cool. And I'm joined now by the Eskimo Brothers, David Graham, your one-third, based mm -hmm. on my math skills, of right. the band. And you're the one who actually has the Portland area roots, yeah, right? Yeah, I was raised here. And I sit mm -hmm. in Troutdale, specifically. Yeah, Troutdale. Okay, cool. So how'd you make it out to Nashville? Uh, I just decided to chase music out that way. By car, or I'm just kidding. No, yeah, no. <laughs> All right, very cool. Honky tonk music. It's not something that we hear a lot here, or not as much as those in Nashville. Right. How did you get interested in that? Um, I just love uh, I love old country music, and okay. I love uh, rock and roll and uh, blues and all that stuff. We just kind of we kind of mash it all together and do our own thing. Awesome. Do you yeah. find that it appeals to people across the country? Uh, I sure hope so. <laughs> it seems to be. You played <laughs> last night. Yeah. I said, just, how much sleep did you get? Uh, three hours. Wow. Yeah. The sunglasses. That's why I'm wearing sunglasses. Clutch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, how'd your show go? Where'd you guys play? It was fun. We played uh, the Star Theater uh, right down the road and had a really good turnout. And uh, we've been on the road for uh, six weeks. Oh, wow. Straight. Where else have you gone? Uh, we've been all over the country. Okay. Yeah. 48, what are your... 48 shows in like 55 days or something like that. You're joking. No. We still have a week to go. We play tonight in, in California right oh, after my... we leave here. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> what have been some of your favorite spots? Uh, Portland was definitely my favorite spot. I haven't been back home in like seven years, so yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was nice. Nice, very mm -hmm. cool. You get to see some family while you're here, do that kind of stuff? I wish. My mom was at the show last night, but uh, our schedule is so tight that was, that was pretty much it. Let me ask you, I mean, you're from the area. How mm -hmm. much has Portland changed? Uh, there's a lot of tents. It's <laughs> very true. Yeah. We talk about but, that a lot here. Yeah, yeah. and a lot of the landmarks uh, are different, but uh, driving up the gorge uh, for the first time in like seven or eight years was breathtaking. Okay, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Portland, obviously, you know, this part of the country known mm -hmm. for music and it's a music hub and mm -hmm. Seattle, another big, obviously, yeah. hub for that. Mm -hmm. What is it about this part of the country that makes people so sort of, in your mind, like ready to jump on and sort of be at the center of whatever's evolving in the music it's world? It's just such a, such a cool, eclectic town and beautiful surroundings and uh, I don't know. It's just, it's got everything. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's working out for you guys. Yeah. And you're headed where next, you said, tonight? Uh, tonight is uh, Redding, California. Okay, cool. Well, we do want to hear some more music from you. All you right. were awesome at the top of the show, <laughs> so right. let's do that again. Okay. Uh, which song is this going to be? Or? Uh, this is called Two Miles High and Back. All right, cool. The Eskimo Brothers. Guys, take it away. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Hello. 
could use a lift. A girl who was wearing pink down the steering, his hair floated shone up a gun. Bye.